Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. How are you doing Aries? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what Spirit House for you guys for the remaining of the month of September 2021 in regards to romance, in regards to love. Spirit gets what are the messages that you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's get into your reading, Aries. Now, your first card here is the Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor card, the Ten of Pentacles, powerful cards here, Four of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Okay. So for some of you guys, there could have been some type of uh, temporary separation. For others of you, there could have been uh, the need or the want for some type of room, some type of space. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, the desire to want to revisit the past, um, wanting to see that it's been worth it, or, or, or holding on to a situation that um, there is, there's difficulty here uh, releasing yourself from this connection because you want to feel like it was worth it in the end. With the Emperor card, we're definitely dealing with someone that is stubborn. This could be you, Aries, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Ten of Pentacles could have been a commitment or a committed relationship. For others of you, there could have been a desire to take it to the next level. Um, but quickly, you found yourself to either feel like you were being uh, losing interest or like the person you were dealing with was losing interest, uh, inevitably ending in some type of like I said, some type of separation, some type of, and they're telling me temporary. So for some of you guys, it could just be that the person is either pulling away, ghosting you, not communicating, not opening up communication at the moment. Um, now the person that you're dealing with has the justice card, maybe dealing with a Libra, uh, Aries, Gemini type of energy here, princess of swords, uh, queen of swords, nine of cups and the ace of pentacles okay so off the bat what i can tell you aries is there is definitely some type of reconciliation if there is an ending a separation or a temporary break that is going to uh, be very passing as i do see them uh, coming to terms or making a decision of wanting to continuously keep putting effort in this connection. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do see them looking at you. This could be them looking at your social medias. This could be them looking at what you're doing, who you're talking to, who you're communicating. Queen of Wands always indicates a lot of confidence. So what they're telling you here, in essence, is if you're wanting to draw the person back to you, it is crucial and very important to keep yourself busy. Stop obsessing over the situation. Stop over analyzing or even criticizing yourself uh, for past mistakes or whatnot what they're telling you here is bring it back to you aries bring it back to focusing on you doing you trying the best you can to live your best life that's what's going to draw them to you now a lot of the times when we're talking about manifestations it is important and crucial to state exactly what it is that you want and to have a crystallized idea of what it is that you're trying to bring or manifest to your life. And also taking the time to putting it there or placing your petition and stepping back and going on with your life. So what they're telling you in essence here is don't stop your life or don't put a pause in your life because there's been some type of separation or some drawing back on your person of interest side. What they're telling you is bring it back to you. Focus on yourself. Bring that energy back to you. Bring your power back, Aries. Stand your ground. Be confident in yourself. Know your worth and continue living your life. Don't stop and pause for anyone. What they're telling you is they that's what's going to be drawing them back to you. The moment they feel that shift in energy, that change in energy, um, the feeling of, well, Aries may be moving on because they're no longer texting me. They're no longer communicating. They're not chasing or looking for me. That's going to draw them back to you, Aries. And, you know, with the nine of cups here and the ace of pentacles, it's them realizing that it's you who they want and being able to come to you with a concrete or a crystallized um, clear picture of what it is that they want moving forward. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, 
there could have been some type of confusion, feeling like maybe they led you on, feeling like maybe they weren't completely honest about what they wanted. Um, but definitely what's going to be unfolding is, again, them coming back to you, realizing that it's you that they want. It's them choosing you is what I'm hearing. With the Ace of Pentacles, them offering you a solid, uh, some type of solid proposition, whether it's to take it to the next level, whether it's to make it official, whatever the situation is. But ideally, what they're telling you here in this, uh, in the in these cards is essentially to bring it back to you, to make it about yourself and learn to make yourself a priority. Um, a lot of the times, sometimes you know, people say selfishness is uh, a bad thing. Not necessarily, because if you're on the other end of the stick, where it's usually you, the one that ends up giving or putting or going above and beyond for other people, sometimes we have to pull our energy back and allow them to step up and to prove themselves or to prove how bad they want us in their life or where they want to place us in their life. So again, bring it back to you, Aries. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon.